Uh, my name is Nicholas Bauer and I'm an engineering intern here at Local Motors and uh, basically what I was tasked with was resurrecting the beta car. Now this is the very first rally fighter. It was powered by a BMW diesel engine and what we did today was we took it to Force Air Technologies to get dyno tuned because we put some new stuff on it and originally made around 260 horsepower and 420 pounds of torque and today it makes 380 horsepower around 510 foot pounds of torque with no tune so we are very happy. I'll go ahead and start it. was we bought an intercooler off eBay. It was an inexpensive one, but it had a very large surface area. And then one of our fabricators, Galen, actually welded brand new uh, pipes on the side of the tanks and repiped the whole thing so that way it would flow better. So what we did was we basically removed the DPF, which is a diesel particulate filter system. And that's what made this vehicle 50 state emissions legal back at the time. But now since we don't produce these vehicles with this motor in, we're able to remove that. And basically what happened was the vehicle was driven so little, it could not clean the soot out of the diesel particulate filter. So it was completely clogged and put the vehicle in that mode. So we basically got rid of that, got rid of another system that injects urea into the exhaust and helps clean that. And we put a big downpipe here that just exits right on the side of Rally Fighter. So the whole exhaust system is around this log, very efficient. Uh, being a BMW engine, is the engine computer is locked, it's proprietary, it's not open source, no one can modify it, so it's going to be very hard to get this vehicle to. I know a guy in Scotland that can do it, I have to ship the computer to him, but as of right now we can't find anyone in the Phoenix, Arizona area, or basically generally anywhere in Arizona that can tune this vehicle and make it produce more power. So today we took the car to Forced Air Technologies, they're located in around Tempe, Arizona, and we took it there just to confirm that the modifications we did actually helped the car instead of hindering it. And it really helped the car, even with no tune on it currently, it did pretty good. So the next thing to do is the speedometer currently isn't working and we don't know why. It's probably a sensor or loose wiring connection somewhere. So she's temperamental and doesn't want to shift out of second gear sometimes because the vehicle basically keeps standing still and somehow the engine's turning. So we gotta get that fixed and then find someone that can tune it or put a piggyback tuner on it to get more power. Yeah, this project's up on the forge. It's called BMW Rally Fighter Beta Resurrection.